Just the other day, the new Rage 2 trailer released to somewhat mixed reception. A fair number of people are genuinely excited, but others couldn't really care less, and understandably so. The first Rage was definitely a cool concept, but it was also one that sort of failed in its execution, and it wasn't exactly what most people had hoped for. Despite its flaws though, I for one actually enjoyed the original quite a bit. So given the outburst of new info surrounding the sequel, I thought it might be interesting to take a look at the most recent trailer as well as some other new details in an effort to figure out what we can expect from Rage 2. And first things first, let's look at who's developing the game. Id Software and Avalanche Studios. For me personally, I couldn't have asked for a better matchup. Of course, for those who don't know, the people over at Id Software are the creators of the original Rage and Doom. So all else aside, you can pretty much rest assured that Rage 2 will have some kick-ass gunplay. And I'm not sure about anyone else, but I was also a huge fan of the world that the first Rage laid out. In fact, to me, the Dead City is still one of the coolest locations in gaming. And you can't forget places like Subway Town either. But part of where Rage fell apart was when you were actually going place to place. They really didn't have the whole open world aspect nailed down. And in general, I think the gameplay surrounding the vehicles could have been done a lot better. And that is where Avalanche Studios comes in. Which for me was so awesome to see because prior to finding this out, I kept thinking to myself, the vehicles in Rage are a cool concept, but wouldn't it be great if they played a lot more like they did in Mad Max? And once again for those who aren't aware, the guys over at Avalanche Studios are the same ones who created the last Mad Max game. So it pretty much worked out perfectly. And you can already tell from seeing the trailer, that side of things is looking a hell of a lot better. And even then, what we see only seems to be scratching the surface. Because if you go to the game's store page, it mentions the implementation and use of everything from monster trucks to gyrocopters. Yeah, apparently we can fly now. Glancing over the store page, it also looks as though they plan on spicing up combat even further. With the introduction of new abilities called nanorite powers, and overdrive. So not only will we have all of the cool guns and gadgets from the first game, we'll also have a couple new badass tricks up our sleeve capable of pushing our guns and armor past their mechanical limits. A few of which are shown off in the gameplay trailer, with some of the nanorite powers being used against bandits and an overdrive being used to combat one of the game's giant mutants. Overall it looks like combat is going to be even more hectic than before. And whether or not you're happy about that, I think at the very least, it'll help set Rage apart from other post-apocalyptic titles, like the Metro series for instance. Speaking of setting itself apart, it looks like Rage 2 will also feature a much larger variety when it comes to different environments. Now that's not to say other games don't do that, but the first Rage in particular made it seem as though the entire world had become a dusty wasteland very similar to Mad Max. And that wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's always nice when games like this take it upon themselves to add even more variety as a means of one-upping themselves. And in the trailer we see that in the form of lush jungles and swamps. Places I never thought I'd see in a game like Rage. Yet I think they'll lend themselves perfectly in terms of creating unique areas for all of the different bandits and tribes to call home. And while we're on the subject of the different enemies, let's take a look at some of the various groups that have been shown off that we can expect to encounter throughout the wasteland. The first of which is the Goon Squad. These guys are definitely the more flamboyant out of the bunch, as we see them coated in all kinds of crazy colors and tattoos, doing things like playing baseball with a grenade and dizzy bat with a shotgun. Next up is the Woodland Faction. Compared to the Goons, this group looks like they might be a bit tougher to deal with, as we see them utilizing what looks to be stronger armor, as well as large shields, and even attack dogs. And as for the tribes, the last one we see is the more tech-heavy group, who throughout the trailer can be seen using some really cool gear, like electrically charged katanas and armor. I've heard a few people who think these guys might be the authority from the first rage, but if you look back, the Authority had a very distinct look that doesn't seem to match up with what we see here. So to me, this is clearly a new group. That said, even though we don't specifically see the Authority in this trailer, 
based on the store page, I'd say it's pretty clear that we'll eventually see them in-game, even if it's not till the very end. Another group of enemies you can expect to see return are the mutants, many of which, thanks to the authority, will be working alongside the humans. We saw a little bit of this in the previous Rage, but judging by the trailer, it looks like they'll be a much greater threat this time around. In fact, there were actually very few mutants shown throughout the entire trailer that weren't covered in authority armor, so it'll be interesting to see how they function this time around. I for one am very excited to see how all of the different groups play out, especially if and when they come in contact with one another. And so far I'm loving how the bandits just seem to go about their own daily lives and how rather than being scripted events like they were in the first game, most of the giant mutants are now able to move around freely. Overall it looks like the game could be a ton of fun, and I'm excited to jump in and explore its world as well as interact with its new characters and quite possibly some of the old ones as well, like the Doctor, and by the looks of it, the host of the Mutant Bash game show. But anyways guys, that's gonna do it for me, so now I wanna know what you think. Are you excited for Rage 2? And if so, would you like to see them put more of an emphasis on the story this time around? Or do you think the new and improved gameplay will be enough to keep players interested? Either way, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you in the next one.